To view different types of heat maps, first select the page for which you want to view the heat map. In the top left corner here, there's an indicator showing you what device the heat map screenshot displays here. Right now it's on PC, you can switch it to tablet or mobile. There's an indicator to show you whether it's a click heat map, a scroll heat map, or an area. Depending on the device heat map that you're viewing, this drop down for the clicks heat map will say either clicks or tap. Click for PC heat maps and tap for tablet and mobile heat maps. If you click on the drop down, you can filter the heat map by specific clicks or taps. By default, it's set to all clicks or taps, but here are the options that you have for filtering. This can help you identify dead links or elements that users think are clickable but really aren't. For example, last clicks or taps can show you a heat map that users click on to navigate away from the page. So there's a lot of great insight you can gain from this user behavior data. There's a legend down here where you can see the most popular clicks and the least popular. So if you look at the screenshot here, there's the click area heat maps indicated by the colors according to the legend here. So the numbers in the screenshot correspond to the click rankings on the left. And if you click on one of these cards here, it'll bring you to the element in the screenshot and highlight it. When you hover over the card, you can see the exact element, the CSS selector, for which the click occurs. You can click on the view recordings call to action or the camera icon to view the session recordings that include that click. In the top toolbar, click on scroll to view the scroll heat map and you can see what percentage of the page users are scrolling through. And with the legend here, it's most popular in red and then it becomes cooler as less users scroll through the page. So of course at the top, everyone views this portion above the fold. And as we scroll lower, you can see that less people scroll through this page. In the left panel, there's a report showing the percent of the page that has been scrolled through, the number of visitors that have scrolled through that portion, as well as the drop off for each percent. Click on the area in the top toolbar and you'll see a heat map that groups the clicks according to areas on the page. So above the fold we can see some clicks that occur but as we scroll down we see a few more clicks scattered through different sections in the article and this area is probably for the pop-up that occurs. There's a call to action to download a free resource so that's what that corresponds to and there are some other click areas down the page as well to share the heat map click on the share icon in the toolbar and you'll see options to share via a link or you can share the heat map using email if you want to download it you can download a csv or a png of the heat map if you want more content on working with digital marketing, audience, customer, or user data, subscribe to the channel.